Here is the one strategy you need to know to close more deals at conferences. Don't eat any food. That's right, no food. Do not eat the food. Oh, wait, what do I mean by that? Give me a second, let me explain. Maybe try eating food before you go to the conference. You don't wanna be the person who's just alone, focused on their food. Spend that time networking. Spend that time talking to people. Don't give yourself an excuse to be alone. Remember, this is a prime opportunity to close a deal. Shout out to Diane Darling for this great tip. You can check her out at dianedarling.com. But wait, there's a few other strategies on how to close more deals at conferences that you should definitely know about. Come out of your shell. Don't be shy, do things you normally wouldn't. So when someone says, raise your hand if anyone has any questions, you know, be the one to raise your hand. Identify the people you need to be speaking to and find the appropriate time to talk. At this conference we were just at, people were really hesitant and so we spoke to some of them after and they were just too shy. They just couldn't get themselves to raise their hand, whether that's a, a, a shyness thing or they were worried about, you know, how they would look. Typically it's something along the lines of, you know, you're just in this shell and you're, you're afraid. And so overcome that fear, do the best that you can, prepare yourself mentally before you go to the conference or you know, even go to the bathroom and just be like, I can do this, I can do this. You know, psych yourself up. I mean, if you're normally the person that's talkative and you're talking to everyone, just continue that. The whole point of these conferences is to network, is to meet people that will be within your sphere, have a mutually beneficial relationship with. Capture some sort of a video of the event. This could be something simple that you do with your phone. You can grab footage, you can do a simple walk and talk, your favorite point that you got or your favorite speaker capture that and then share that on social because chances are if you mention the event organizer they're gonna include you and they're gonna reshare that promote yourself as an individual you can promote your company and you'll kind of tap into the existing network that the event organizers already have the second thing that's part of this is to send each and every person a personalized video after the event so you're probably gonna come back with a stack of business cards you're gonna have a bunch of emails maybe you had some sort of a form I can't tell you how valuable it is send each and every one of those people a personalized video doing it on a one-to-one -one basis is obviously gonna give you a lot of personalization but you can also do it at scale where you send it as a campaign so capture your videos share your videos do it during the event mention the event organizers and then after the event send every single person a personalized video, a simple webcam video or a phone video to kind of build that relationship up. Make sure you connect with them, rinse and repeat, do that every single time at every single show that you do. I just got off a call with someone from Google from their partnerships program and apparently they had some sort of a representative at the conference that we just went to who was kind of scouting companies that would potentially be good fits for the Google partnership program which basically gets them access to the API and resources and events and all sorts of cool stuff. I guess in conferences you never really know who you're gonna meet, who's gonna stumble upon you, who's gonna hear you talk, who's gonna see your booth and want to invite you or do some sort of business. Here's another great tip for remembering people at conferences. Instead of just taking people's business cards at conferences, create a 3D scan of their face. Take out your phone and walk around them creating a 3D model of their face. They can <laughs> and if you don't happen to have this volumetric 3D scanner on your phone, I recommend just standing next to the person taking a picture, hold their business card in the picture. And so that way, when you're actually going through all these business cards you collected during the conference, you'll be able to remember specifically who that person was. And when you follow back up with them, they have that image too. They'll remember both you taking the picture and they'll remember when that happened. So it creates a strong memory, creates a little bit of a bond, relationship, helps you keep everything organized. If you want more great tips on networking, I highly recommend Diane Darling's resource called How to Work a Room. Check out the link in the description to check that out. Comment down below with your best conference tips if you have any. And be sure to subscribe to us on all our channels. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Bye. Did you know the best conference in all of Los Angeles is right here in Venice Beach if you want to come.